Hi, it's Gabe Bonge again from Computer Geeks on Call. I wanted to go over some basics of kind of like finding files and understanding where the files are. So the first thing to say is that the computer file system, the way files are arranged, um, it's kind of like a filing cabinet. So the, the simple way to, to go through it is to go to Start and go on to My Computer. If we open up My Computer, there's a lot of stuff floating around in my, my computer, but the thing that really matters is you find local disk C. If you double click local disk C, what do you see? You see a bunch of yellow folders. If you were to open a filing cabinet, what would you see? You'd see a bunch of file folders, right? The difference with computers is that if I go inside, uh, say, Documents and Settings, or Dell, or any of these, let's go inside Dell. If I open this, whoop, if I open this Dell folder, Oop, I see another folder. So it's kind of like folder within folder within folder and it can go really really deep. So if I go back here back to the beginning where I opened my computer I go back into local disk C. We just have to know that folders are kind of like the filing cabinet idea the files reside in these yellow folders. Uh, the other thing to say is that folders reside inside folders. So that's a little different from a filing cabinet. And just to illustrate it, uh, I am using Windows XP, and Windows is defined as, um, well, it's the operating system, but what is Windows? It's this folder, the Documents and Settings folder, where your, your user documents are stored. It's the Program Files folder, and it is the Windows folder. All these other folders are used for other things. Um, you know, they're my own personal stuff. But the, the big thing to say is that Windows consists of Documents and Settings, Program Files, and the Windows folder. If you open the Windows folder, you'll see all these funny looking folder names. And the, the, these are files used by Windows to function. If you go into the Program Files folder, a lot of these files are used by Windows to function. But some of them, as you can probably tell, have been added on. For example, Internet Explorer is part of Windows. Intuit is my QuickBooks program. So if you open it up, you can see that QuickBooks is in here. And this is where I can run QuickBooks. And this actually is the QuickBooks executable file. So I don't want to get too complicated, but if we go back, back, and we're back to our local disk C, um, the thing I really like to talk to people about is uh, documents and settings. This is the most important of Windows folders. You may ask yourself, where are my files? You know, that happens all the time with my customers. So if we open documents and settings, we'll see here some weird looking stuff. And what's going on here is that we have different usernames. Now, in a normal situation, you'll have one username for each user on the computer. So Mine looks a little funny because I'm on a domain and I've got some duplicate names. Forget about that. Let's just let's just look at this as if it's it's your computer and wow, what's inside this user? So let's say gabe.cgoc. This is one user's set of files. Because you know when you log into Windows XP as a different user, you have your own desktop, background screen, you actually have your own My Documents, your own favorites, and all that stuff. So let's just go right to it. If we open up gabe.cgoc we'll see desktop. What's on the desktop? All my desktop stuff. Favorites, these are all my favorites. My documents, these are my my documents. Uh, start menu, it's a little different, it's my start menu. Maybe I've deleted some shortcuts or, or things like that. So the main point here is that this folder, My Documents, residing in gabe.cgoc, in Documents and Settings, that's the actual location of My Documents. So if I click on Start and then click on My Documents, we're looking at the same thing. We're looking at the same location. It looks kind of funny here, and it's just the way the My Documents folder works. When we click on it, it doesn't look the same way. It's kind of, you know, when I log in as Gabe, that's the way my documents looks. But if we want to trace it back to where is it on the hard drive C, we now know that what we would do, we click on Start, go to My Computer, 
go to the local disk C, go to documents and settings, go to gabe.cgoc. Now why did I pick that? Because I've logged in as Gabe. Gabe.cgoc and then my documents. And these are, this is the actual location of the my documents folder for my user Gabe. If I wanted to look at another folder, let's say administrator, I can look at the administrator's documents and there's not really much in here because we don't really modify uh, the administrator user very much. If I want to go back and look at the tech user, here's the tech desktop, all the tech stuff. And here's the text documents and there are different items in here. So the main point here is that if you're looking for your user information, you have to start out by going to my computer, local disk C, documents and settings, select the user, let's say it's tech, and then there's text documents. Hopefully that's cleared a little bit of that up. The other thing I wanted to mention too is at times people will be looking for email or address books. If that's the case, you have to do one little change. You have to go to the Tools menu, and actually you can do it anywhere. If you click on Start, go to My Computer, go to the Tools menu, it's the same old thing, down to Folder Options. If we go to the View tab here, you'll see 50 million items. The thing we care about is Hidden Files and Folders. So we want to choose to show Hidden Files and Folders. Normally, these items are selected as well, but we don't want to hide extensions for known file types or we won't really be able to see uh, or understand you know what is my mail file my PST, PST file for Outlook for example hide protected operating system files same thing they're gonna hide your PST file for Outlook so we should uncheck those two items show hidden files and folders now watch this if I click OK now if I go to local disk C documents and settings and if I go to tech whoop, <laughs> whoa I have 50 million folders here. See how they're kind of fady? That's because these are the normally hidden system files. But look, they show you interesting things. They show you cookies. Um, if I go deep enough into it, application data, um, identities, you know, I can find different files uh, associated with email and things like that. Here's my Excel files, for example. So that's a quick tour of navigating files and finding files and, and understanding the file system. Hopefully that helped you out.